Dodge Ram, a 1996 Dodge Ram. 1500 V8 Magnum, uh, old truck. It's a good truck, but I've had to recently replace the, because of due to overheating, the water pump and thermostat. I did that this past weekend. Um, added the coolant to it, burped the system, running like a champ. Engine's running cool, about 100 degrees lower than it was um, after having the issues. Today, which is about a day later, I see a split in the radiator. I'm, I'm dropping coolant. Uh, started off about an inch, and then uh, it was actually identified by the, the in, when I got inspected. Um, he said it'd probably be okay for a little bit. Well, then within a day, it's gone too. I'm gonna see if I can show you to here. Let's see if we can get down in here. So if you can see that split right there in the center touch it because it's still hot but right there there's a split there it is that splits probably about four inches now and it starts spraying uh, coolant under the fan uh, so it is a mess I just recently changed out the thermostat down in there you can see that down in there new thermostat new water pump down in there so if you don't know my name is John I'm the father from the vlogging family uh, called the shenanigans and so I did start another channel kind of take on the other things that I do which I do a lot of trying to take things on myself instead of having to pay others to do it whether it's fixing decks or my cars or woodworking or anything else anything we buy purchase crafts we make as a family that's gonna be on this channel but right now, extremely irritated. I just got this truck back after sitting up sweating. It's extremely hot here in Virginia. We're getting ready to get a storm here soon. I uh, spent a lot of time getting this truck ready. Um, and now it's gonna be out of commission until I order a new radiator. Extremely disappointed in that. So now I gotta do the research to try to find that. From what I've seen so far, I've seen anywhere from $69 to like 130 just from looking at this it doesn't look like it's that hard of a job after i just replaced the the uh, took off the alternator and the compressor ac compressor and all the air filter stuff took all that off that was a huge deal which for me is about as far in as a car as i've ever gone um, replaced that water pump it wasn't too bad it really wasn't too bad but this seems changing out the radiator seems like it's going to be relatively easy just from logistics standpoint it's in here in the front of the engine it's not me having to take half of the top of the engine off to get to it so which i did with the water pump and the thermostat <sighs> it's just really frustrating guys so that's the kind of opening this channel more to come i will definitely film the replacement of this radiator again i have a 1996 dodge ram 1500 v8 magnum four-wheel drive and uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of mods to this truck, putting steps on, I'm getting the new dashboard. These trucks are notorious for the dashboards completely disintegrating. Um, so yeah, there'll be a journey into many different things in this channel. So thanks for, uh, for st stopping by and uh, talk to you guys later. I'll let you know how this radiator goes, by the way. It's coming soon.